Hello and welcome. I'm Jess Catmans, guided by Equus, and I'm out here with my mare and foal herd tonight to share day 11 of the 12 days of horse wisdom gifts. Um, I wish I could show you this, but it's actually more of the feel of it um, because it's such a beautiful starry night and it's so calm and quiet and um, it's these kind of nights that I remember all the time. It's like we can connect to something that is beyond ourselves and beyond this world. And often around this time, and whether it's because the night sky is so dark and we can see the stars that much more clearly, um, or if it's just the, the quiet and that idea, that sense of reverence um, for just being soft and quiet and hushed and silent, kind of waiting. Um, and me growing up being a Catholic, um, I guess I equate it to uh, to Jesus' to Christmas and the Christ consciousness um, that we get to connect with in a way that almost kind of transcends um, daily life. And yet at the same time, whether um, whether you're connected to the Christ consciousness or not, there's still this sense of wonder and appreciation um, and gratitude almost that feels like it's part of of this time in our world and maybe that's just me and so even if this only is my experience of this time I know that the horses have always been a gift in um, really helping me relate at this time to just that sense of reverence and um, and I love the sound of of them eating I can always remember um, especially in the winter time, I would go and we had this big old barn that was built in 1929, I think, and it, we had made tie, stall, tie stalls out of it. And in the winter time, I would always tie my horses up in there and just listen to them eat. And I could sit there doing that for hours um, because it was settled, it was calming, it was quiet, it was connected. And it's all of those things that are part of this right now. And I remember doing this exact thing that I'm doing right now, sitting here with the horses two years ago, um, right on this day, except for it was with my stallion herd. So myself, my stallions, Coast, Noche, Chief, recently gelded Eagle and gelding Surf. And I was laying down like this in the straw pile and it was quite a bit colder that night, but they were just all standing around me. And I remember thinking, God, I'm laying down in the middle of, of five male horses, um, three of which are current stallions, one of which was a stallion until um, three months prior to that when I had gelded him. And I felt so safe. And yet that was probably one of the most vulnerable things um, a person can do is lay in amongst a group of, of male horses, um, many of them stallions. But it was so, um, it just brought me into such, again, that sense of wonder and reverence for how connected we all are to things when we do things like step outside and, and witness the universe or witness this gathering of horses around us that could be engaging in a fight in the next moment, and yet they didn't. They were just soft and quiet and, you know, connected with each other. They were all grouped around me like these mares and babies are. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm sure you can hear and sense them. And I just remember thinking, how incredible is this that I get to lay here right in the middle of these five male horses and it's like they're watching over me and that's exactly how I felt. Um, because part of this is when we become that vulnerable to allow ourselves to be connected to something that is greater than us, um, the world almost stands still in a way so that we get to witness witness ourselves in relationship to that which is beyond us. Um, and so I guess that's where I'll leave that tonight because it's almost those words that, um, that connect us to that sense of reverence that we are part of something 
quite a bit bigger than ourselves and yet we are we are that that piece of something that is bigger um, and so it's that almost is very difficult for the mind to understand and yet when you experience that um, again kind of on nights like tonight just in the space of doing this and it, it just allows your nervous system to settle and your memory to connect to something that has made you feel this way in the past and even if you don't have a conscious connection of it um, it inspires something within you to seek more of this in your life so if that is the gift of what um, day 11 is then I share that gift of horse wisdom with you much love from myself and all of these guys here and I'll do my best to kind of show So much love and I look forward to sharing day 12.